Dana, get on this now. We need it. This job sucks. I've been here for over two years, and I'm still writing a bit. I can't believe I bust my ass for four years at Georgetown to end up writing the same thing every day. Stanley Cornwall is survived by. The names change, but the coffee's the same. What are you complaining about? If you wanted to be a real journalist, you would have gone to Northwestern or Penn or Syracuse. Those are the big J schools everybody goes to. Think about it. If you got into Georgetown, you could have gotten into any of them. You know how many, how many journalists went to those schools? Yeah, like all of them. That's my point. They all drank from the same well, so they all write the same way. I want to be different. Then be different with these, man. Here's the latest badge to deal with parties. Your turn. Take your pick. Uh, let's see who crossed over today. Washington John David, Bartles Mabel, Hawkins Gilda. Hawkins Gilda? I just did her husband's obit last week. She was the loving wife. Great. I'll start with Gilda. I'll just download the Survived by Crap from Old Myron's file. God, what are the chances? Chances of what? Husband and wife crapping out within one week of each other. Actually, they're pretty good. My parents died five months apart. It happens all the time. Damn it, I can't find Myron's file. Well, that's another what are the chances. I didn't know we'd need it. I zapped it by mistake after I wrote it. Great. I guess I'll have to call the devoted daughter, Susan. No, you won't. There's a hard copy of Myron in the files. You know, you're supposed to print one out each time. Oh, give me a break. It's the 21st century. Don't tell me. It's policy. And it's a policy you ignore. And this time, it's saving your ass. I'll get it for you. Um, I'll go with. I need to stretch my legs anyway. Hey, would Carl Hawkins Myron, here we are. What? This next file is Hawkins Anna. Yeah, they're alphabetical, you know. You no, know, my grandmother's last name was Hawkins, and she had a sister called Anna. And that would make her your what? Uh, my great aunt. No chips. When'd she die? She's a long time ago, before I was born. And is she the same Anna Hawkins? I think so. I mean, it says she was from Nassau County and my grandma grew up there. Hmm. What do you know? This is my great aunt Anna. Oh, is this one of these sensitive moments? Should I pretend to care so I can be there for you in your time of loss? I never knew her. My parents said that she and grandma had this thing they didn't speak for like 50 years. My grandma married her boyfriend when she was like 25 and I never spoke again. Well then it was more like 75 years because your dear Auntie Anna lived to be 100. She died in 1950. 1950? That means she was a teenager in the Civil War. Can you believe that? Wait a minute, what makes you think that? Duh. Jan, what the heck did you learn in school? Okay. 100 years, 1950. That means she was born in 1850. And the Civil War was 1861 to 1865. Okay. 1850 to 61. Well, she wasn't a teenager. She was 11. Well, then she was a teenager when it ended, Einstein. Where are you taking her? I'm keeping her. But what if her head dies? We need the vitals. Jen, if she had a husband, he'd be like 150. I don't think we need to worry. 
um, what about nearest relative, you know, was preceded in death by? No chance. I'm the end of the line. What? Forget it.